feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. When it's in your Hey, everybody. Welcome to the post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. I'm your co-host, Ted Jenkins, sitting here with my co-host, Chris Hanks, who's the executive director and founder of the Shore Center for Entrepreneurship. We had another amazing broadcast today with our guest, Nathan Pearson, who's the chief operating officer of Independent Dealers Advantage, which is a subprime lending company, an automobile financing company. It's really, really cool stuff that we learned today. You should go check out the entire broadcast at shrimptankpodcast.com, or just download us on iTunes and check us out in your car. So subprime lending, that's such a niche. And uh, I'm always amazed at how business owners just uh, establish profitable businesses in these niches. Can you explain exactly what a subprime lending company does? Sure. We're uh, at the most basic level. It's the same uh, thing as a prime lending company, where is you know, if, if most of the people listening have bought a car uh, before you walk into a dealership and you sign an application, and um, you know it goes to the finance uh, manager and, for approval, and they try to get your loan bought somewhere, whether that's with their own finance company or with an outside company. Um, and so we we do the same thing, but just uh, for someone with less than perfect credit. Nathan, I loved our interview today and talking about, you know, the family business that you're in and you've got a lot of family members in the business and just building the overall culture. And it's like for entrepreneurs that are watching the broadcast today, you know, how would you recommend for them or how did you guys go about building the identity of your company? You're now 45 employees in the company, which is no small feat. Uh, It's a pretty large company. How do you go about building the identity of your company? I think it starts up front. Um, we, we let everybody know uh, right off the bat that we are a family-run company um, with uh, Christian values and that uh, um, it all kind of stems from uh, our CEO. Um, we call him LP, Larry Pearson. LP, I like um, it. And, uh, you know, it, it's just something that y- y- you have to go about, um, you know, treating everybody with respect, and, you know, we try to treat everybody like they're in our family, so... Camp, that's exciting. Um, I thought it was interesting too because you talked on the show about um, you. You guys are in the business of re- helping people repair credit, and these people who fall in on hard times, who are, who are, are you know going through some challenging um, situations, you can actually help them repair uh, their credit score. How does that work? How do you help people repair credit scores? Uh, by reporting to uh, the credit reporting agencies, we are uh, our customers a lot of the time have uh, spent their lives buying cars from a buy here pay here dealership, um, and so and their credit it doesn't get reported uh, to Equifax or TransUnion um, from one of those places, um, and so we uh, take that same customer and put them into a car, and if they pay. Uh, for two years, they can raise their, you know, two years, 30 months, somewhere in that range, they can raise their credit score up to 100 points. Wow. Yeah, that surprised me. 100 points. That seems like, a, I mean, that seems like a lot. I wouldn't have expected it to be that high. Now, what's the highest interest rate in this some prime world that somebody can get charged for a car? Pretty close to 30 percent. 30 percent. And that's yeah. still considered to be subprime? Yeah, well, I think anybody that's going to get uh, charged that is is most likely a subprime customer. I mean, it, in, in general, um, it's somebody that it's kind of last chance that they can't get uh, bought at a regular bank. Um, you know, in, in general, a, another term for the subprime customer is the unbankable because a lot of them you know, don't have a bank account. Um, and so it, it, it's people starting out and they just, you know, they don't have a lot of credit. So, um, you know, it, it yeah, and that those high high rates are are for uh, you know for the deep subprime customer. Any idea for the folks watching today before we wrap up the post show uh, podcast? Um, what's the most repossessed car that's out there? Is there a car that's the most repossessed car of all cars? Um, we keep up with that, um, <laughs> and there's a particular Chrysler that gets repossessed a lot. Huh. Um, the most thing, the, the thing we could keep up with the most, uh, is really what car breaks the most. Um, and so we have a list of cars that we won't do. Um, in, in addition to the high end, uh, you know, our Mercedes or BMW strictly because our customer can't afford the maintenance on it. Yeah. Um, but it, yeah, we don't do, there's, there was an old Chrysler engine that was a 2.7 motor. We just, <laughs> everyone in our business stopped doing those. Um, 
and uh, you know, there's a couple others, but uh, it's generally based on uh, if the if our car is running, our customer is going to pay for it, right? Uh, so if it breaks, we keep up with that more. Well, for those of us, thanks for coming on the broadcast today, and it was an excellent podcast. Uh, learned a lot about your business, but how to run a business. Great for entrepreneurs watching, and for those that are watching the post show wrap up, how can they learn about you and IDA and and more about the company? Uh, they can go to our website. It's IDALLC.com, or they can uh, give us a call, 678-720-0555. Well, thanks so much again for coming on the program. And for you folks that are watching the post-show wrap-up of the Shrimp Tank, I guess just remember this. I guess maybe not buy a Chrysler because you might get repossessed if you do. And remember to pay your bills because you don't want someone to come knocking on your door. And that is the post-show wrap-up of the Shrimp Tank. Mm-hmm.